Hello, everyone. This is Ian Schreier, Assistant Athletic Director for Sports Information at Adelphi University and a member of the COSADA Academic All-America New Media Committee. And it is my esteemed pleasure to be joined by the 2021-2022 COSIDA Academic All-America Division III Team Member of the Year in the sport of women's basketball, a forward from Simpson College, Jenna Taylor. Jenna, we're here again. This is the second time in your career now, in fact, the second year in a row that you've been named, that you've won this award, this Division Three Academic All-America Team Member of the Year Award of all women's basketball student athletes that encompass Division Three. You've not only won it once, you've now won it twice. Um, what does it mean to you to be selected for this award once again? Yeah, it definitely definitely means a lot um, just to be recognized for, for things on the court as well as off the court. Um, it's pretty special. Any different feelings for you at all since uh, you went through this for the first time last year and now this is the second time in a row it's happening for you? Uh, it's it's still super cool. I think it's it's definitely a cool feeling still. Um, just feeling a little bit older, um, a little bit more more sentimental, I guess, knowing that is for sure for sure my last year. So special award for sure. And not only is it a special, it's a special award as a result of a special season um, at Simpson for you as you're wrapping up now your sixth year there. Um, your team had such a historic year going 26 and 2, a perfect um, 16, excuse me, 15 and 0 uh, conference record and route to winning an ARC championship. What were the keys? I mean, uh, as a team, individually, what were the keys for? For making this season so special in your eyes? Yeah, I think we knew we had a lot of potential coming in to, uh, to the season. We were undefeated last year. Obviously, we didn't have a championship, so didn't get a chance to make a run on a national stage, but um, we returned 80% of our scoring from last year, um, so we knew we had a chance to be to be super special. So um, I think just the unselfishness of, of the group, um, I think we, we led the, the nation in assists and assist turnover ratio, so um, I think that just shows how how connected our team was and how special uh, this group was and how we were able to, to go 20, 26 and two or whatever we were. No, there's no denying how special it was. And um, last year you were named the WBCA and D3 Hoops All-American for the first time in your career and bring it forward now to 2021, 2022, you shoot 57% from the field, average 60.6 points, 7.8 rebounds per game and lead the conference in nine different statistical categories. I would say in six years, when you look at back on your career, Jenna, that there's so many outstanding things for you to hang your hat on to really encompass the career you had at Simpson. What have been the keys in your rise to your success? Um, I think just just hard work, just working hard. Um, we came and I came in six years ago. Uh, I knew the program wasn't really where it had been in the past and where a lot of us wanted it to be. So um, we knew to, the only way to get it there was to put in hours in the gym and put in hours in film study and that kind of thing, and and we we saw it pay off. Let's rewind the clock now a little bit to the fall um, before your season got underway. Um, You were named one of, uh, excuse me, a top 30 finalist for the NCAA Woman of the Year Award, and it's just such a prestigious honor to be handed out by the national office every single year, and for you to be included as part of that list, what did that mean to you? Yeah, that was another another really special award, Um, just to be, like I said, noticed for things um, off the court and in the classroom and as well as on the court. So um, just to be in that conversation with, with 29 other really special student athletes was, was an honor. I always say as student athletes, you're, you know, you're really setting the bar high because not only do you have to be outstanding on the court, you have to be great in the classroom and um, you're maintaining a 3.76 GPA right now as you are attempting to receive your undergraduate certificate in finance, but you were a 4.0 student um, as an undergrad um, when you had received a dual degree in both accounting and economics. So I have to ask you, Jenna, how did you find the way to balance? <laughs> I always tell like recruits coming in that when they ask about balancing uh, sports and, and academics that Honestly, like during the season, it is is easier almost because you're you're so busy and it's easier to stay to stay organized and to keep on top of things. So I think just just being disciplined and setting out out time for for everything um, was helpful. Just being being organized. Well, please continue in that respect, uh, Jenna, to keep being a shining example for for you, your teammates, and for everybody um, and all student athletes. Um, and. Ultimately, your hard work has resulted you in you, as we had said at the beginning, a two-time COSIDA Academic All-American of the Year for Division III um, in women's basketball. And we all say that we all have to 
get our start somewhere. We all we all have our inspiration, the, the people that we turn to the most to, to 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 lean on, to rely on, and be those role models. Who do you who do you credit for instilling those values in you? Definitely my parents. Ever since my brother and I were, were young, um, I think they instilled the, the value of hard work and the importance of of academics and um, discipline in, in those areas. So they definitely set set the bar high and encouraged us to to work hard and stay on top of, of everything. So yeah, definitely, definitely have them to thank for that. As you're wrapping up your six years here now at Simpson, what are you going to remember most about your time? Then? <laughs> I think people, people probably expect me to say like this awesome run that we had, but I think just like the journey and, and everyone that has been a part of, of everything the last six years. So um, the people that I met and the relationships that I made um, and yeah, everything that, that led up to this this special group. Any specific moment that's, I mean, obviously the great season that you had, but any specific, you know, have, well, let's go with non-basketball memory. Any any specific non-basketball memory in your mind that will always stick out, or it can be basketball. <laughs> I think a little mix of both basketball and non-basketball. I think our, our trips to, to Florida um, over, like, Christmas break are always super special, just being able to take some time to – to unwind on the beach after after playing a game or something like that. Um, just getting those moments off the court with my teammates um, are memories that I will remember forever, for sure. And as you get ready to uh, to depart Simpson um, for, after after wrapping up your last year here with the women's basketball program, you're set to now uh, per, um, not even pursue. You have a full-time job already in line with a prestigious firm in Ernst & Young. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so I've, I've been working with them um, part-time this, this whole school year. So I will start full-time um, in May after graduation. Um, so I'm planning to planning to hit the ground running there and pass, hopefully pass my, my CPA exam. So I've passed two parts already and have two parts left to hopefully, hopefully take this spring. Well, we know which certified public accountant we're turning to <laughs> now, and once she, once she, once she gets it. <laughs> well, Jenna, congratulations again on this great honor, and we can't thank you enough uh, for taking some time with us here today. Thank you, I appreciate it so much.